Hello everyone, this is Paul, and in this video I'm going to show you how I scalp gold against the US dollar. Now, as you can see right now, this is the live chart. It is October 9th at just after 1 o'clock Mountain Standard Time. I don't trade on Fridays, and so I'm not going to share with you, although there are were opportunities today, um, I didn't take them. Um, I don't trade on Fridays just because it's it's just the dicey days sometimes. Uh, it's very seldom will I, and if I do, I'm only risking about 1%, maybe 1.5%. Um, so I'm going to go, and I'm just going to scroll here and just let it go. I can't see what day it is. I want this to be as blind as possible, and I stop. And we're going to start here. So I'm going to get my replay, and we're going to go ahead and... Oh, look at that great opportunity right there, eh? Beautiful. But uh, that's not what we're trading. We're trading over here because, you know, that you might have missed this. This was at, uh, you know, after, just afternoon, so you might have been at work or whatever, so we can't count that. We're not going to cherry pick the chart, which is what most educators do. Uh, we're going to start from here, and before I start pushing play, before we advance the candles forward, I want to share with you my tools that I'm using to help me do my job. Uh, the first of which is Lux Algo. You're definitely going to enjoy using it if you have a trade strategy already. It doesn't matter what it is, Lux Algo will help you. Um, it helped me significantly. It did two things. Number one, it minimized my losses, which if you can just do that, you, you are ahead of the game. <laughs> You don't necessarily have to look for more winning opportunities, but if you can avoid the losing ones, you're, you're going to profit way more, way more. Think about it. So if you, uh, so yeah, there's that. The second thing that it did, it helped change the way that I think about the markets. And we all know that mindset is probably the most important thing when it comes to trading. So mindset first, and then money management. And then, of course, your technical analysis. So we, uh, that's, yeah, that's, uh, that's what we're after here, is uh, using Lux to help us identify good opportunities. And they've got a bunch of tools built in that, uh, that help me do just that. Do not follow their signals blindly. Do your own technical analysis and, and utilize, um, utilize your own strategy to to make sure or to confirm that what, what the signals are saying are good. And sometimes it's the other way around. I've got a great opportunity here, but I would love to have an extra confirmation. Lux just might be that confirmation for you. So I'm going to be using Lux. I have two Lux algos on my chart. One of them is uh, pretty bare bones. All it does is it just gives me my reversal zones. And then the other one I've got it doing a lot more. It's going to give me the confirmation signals, and I have it on the equalizer bands. And these are my settings. There you go. And you know what? The reason why I'm doing this, people are like, oh my goodness, he's sharing everything here. Take notes. Play this video. Save it. Play it over and over and again if you need to. Um, yeah, I, I'm sharing everything because I think most of the educate, the trading educators world is full of crooks. And uh, you know they're charging thousands and thousands of dollars to teach you how to look at candlestick formations and Fibonacci's and like there's one right here. There's a Fibonacci right there. I know it. I don't even have to chart it. I know that's a Fibonacci, but I'm not interested in what Fibonacci has to say. I'm interested in what the markets have to say, and that's what I'm reading. Um, and I'm going to show you how I do that. So Lux Algo, great tool. One of the things that I do, I should mention, is that under style, they have a lower equalizer band. I color it because I'm using that uh, as my entry line. That's a line that tells me that it's time to enter the market. Um, and so, yeah, I just outline that equalizer band with that green, uh, with that green line. Okay, so then the next one that I have up here is my smooth moving average. This is actually my exit strategy. Uh, this is my exit indicator. And I also use it as a continuation indicator. So if we're in a trend, I can utilize this as an exit if I'm in a, in a, in a trade, or I can use it as an indicator to re-enter a trend, which is, which is good. So then the next thing that I have to share with you is my absolute strength oscillator. 
Now it says histogram, and that's only because you can have a histogram with it. But I don't need any of that other stuff. All the information I need is on these plots right here, and these are my settings. Then we've got the ATR, that's for money management. Then I've got Lux Volatility, which is great to determine whether or not there's enough movement in the market. The more volatility we have, the happier we are. Then we've got the Oscillator, and that Oscillator is helpful for me determining whether or not a specific trend may be a little bit old for our liking, um, especially if it's counter-trending. Uh, it's, good, it's, good, it's a good tool. Okay, so here we are. We just finished a downward trend and we are sitting down and pretending to enter the market, or we're sitting down for our trade session. We're looking for an entry. And what did I say? We're looking for us to cross that green line, or we could hit a continuation trade as well. We are now in the reversal, uh, the reversal zone. So if we see coming out of the reversal zone, there's a crossing of our SMMA that smooth moving average. Now what I do is that I look to see whether or not this is valid. The first thing I check is my absolute strength oscillator, my good old ASO. If I have strength in the bulls, because I'm going up, if I have strength in the bulls and my oscillator is not too old, I've got good volatility, I'm gonna enter the market. And you know what, I have no idea what's gonna happen here. And that's the best way to do it. If you're watching trading, trading videos and ads out there and they're just showing you per perfect, like picture perfect opportunities, they cherry picked their days and their hours to, uh, to show you that tool. So my ATR is saying 1.5. So that means that my ticks on this are gonna have 1.5. I'm gonna be able to going three, 3,000 ticks, which equates to $3 on this gold chart because that is what, well, that's, that's the ATR, follow the rules. And let's go forward, see what happens. And it looks like we've crossed down below that white line. So because we've crossed below that white line, I'm gonna go ahead and exit early. And that way I'm not losing the full 3% on that trade if I'm risking three. Sometimes it's through two, sometimes it's three. But here, let's start t keeping track of our PNL. And we've got, uh, so that is, yep, 2.7% loss on that one. Notice how I don't count the pips as the loss. I'm counting the percent as the loss because my ATR can change all the time. So that, that tr average true range, the range of my trading changes. So therefore I can't just say, oh, I lost two pips. I'm saying I lost percentage because that's how you measure what you do in a day. All right, so now we look for the next trade opportunity. And at this point, because of, so we crossed above here, that could be a trade, but I'm gonna leave it alone because I like to see, um, yeah, I like to see, I don't take it on the second opportunity because if it didn't happen the first time, the likelihood of it happening on the second time actually goes down. Uh, so yeah, we're just gonna leave it alone and uh, wait for the next opportunity. And have an area of consolidation, which is important. We'll see what happens here with the next low. Okay. So what happened here was that we entered a period of consolidation. So whenever there's consolidation, in order to increase your chances of winning, what you do is that you go ahead and say, okay, there's my consolidation area because there's my low and there's my high in this area. And we just wait. We wait for the price to close beyond that consolidation zone. And it looks like we did. So we are at, uh, let's just select the box again here. So that candle closed at 1876.2266. So it tied, it actually, no, uh, yeah, it was below. It closed below because the 
the box is at 331. So it closed below. That means now we can start looking for the next opportunity. We don't enter the market yet. We just look for the next opportunity at this point. We're still waiting. It's not here yet. There's a buy signal from Lux. Um, and we have strength in the bulls, but we have not crossed that green line yet. That's my indicator. There it is. And we have strength in the bulls. So we're going to go ahead and enter the market. Let's give it a shot. Um, The only reason I'm doing this is because, as you can see, this band is getting pretty thin. Back here where the band is thick, I wouldn't be doing this. We just finished a consolidation area, uh, and we broke out. Uh, we kind of dipped down a little bit again, but the next trade opportunity is in an area where that band is thinner, so I'm going to go ahead and give it a shot. You know, you, you, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. So we're going to go ahead and enter. The ATR on this is 0.8. Eight, six. So I'm going to set the ticks to 1700. And let's see where we go. Well, looks like we might have crossed below that white line. We did. But we did not close below the line we entered. And so I'm just going to hold out for a bit. Looks like we're going down, but we're actually in another consolidation, aren't we? It just did not want to go below that line, did it? But we are in a consolidation area, and we are still in the trade. So what happens in this instance is I watch for a moment in time where we have some profit so that I can take it out. Let's go ahead and extend this out more. So I've been in profit a little bit over here. I was in profit right away, and then I went down, and when it came up, now that confirms that we're in consolidation. So what I'm looking for now is just a little bit of time for some profit. There we go. And then I'm going to take a look at my indicators. And okay, look at that. So our indicators are showing that we've flipped on the oscillator, and we've got strength in the bulls, so I'm staying in. So notice how I waited to make a decision until I see, you know, this uh, a movement, right? So we broke out of that consolidation range almost. We're in profit. I may have taken this out with profit if it looked if it looked like it would continue. But we've got indication. Our indicators are showing that we are now in a bullish trend. So we're gonna hold out and see what happens. There we go. We took profit on the first trade. Remember, we're taking two trades. The first trade took profit, and it looks like the next one would have hit the trailing stop. Yep, it would have. So in total, we got 2.835 uh, pips. Took profit on the first one, so that's our 1.5. And then the next one, we would have taken uh, just shy of 1.5. How does that go? Math is not an exact science, and I'm I'm not very good at math. I'm good at I'm good at the rest of this, but not math. <laughs> so 1.2 percent. So we got 2.7 percent out of that trade. All right. So now we're going on to the next opportunity, possibly here. Let's see. We crossed the green line. And we're showing strength in the bulls, or sorry, the bears. However, we are now in a bullish trend. We shifted, we switched. So remember how this was getting thinner? And so I was like, hey, well, let's take it. And we did, and we won. But there, we can see now the trend is widening on the equalizer. If I just, if I just move this over here, you can see the equalizer is actually getting wider. 
So because the equalizer is getting wider, I am not, I am not going to uh, go against the bullish trend. And now we have a cross of the line with a strength in the bulls, I think. Let's just double check that. There's my crossing. And we still don't have strength in the bulls yet, even though we crossed no strength in the bulls. So we don't go in. We wait. You could go in here. This is a strong signal from Lux. We've got strength in the bulls, and we can see that the oscillator is pinching off here. So I'm going to go ahead and enter a trade. And my ATR is 0.688. So I'm just going to round that up, and we're going to look for 1,400 ticks. And now we're kind of in another consolidation area, but we're going to wait to see what happens. Don't make any decisions. Okay, so now we crossed below. We still have strength in the bear, in the bulls. Even though we have strength in the bears, we do have strength in the bulls still. So we're going to hold out, and it's a good thing we did. There we go. So our first trade took profit right there. So that's our 1.5%. And we'll see where we go. So then we would have been stopped out. You can see there, we would have stopped out at break even because the trailing stop would have been brought up to zero. So there we go. We got 1.5% out of that one. And we crossed below with strength in the bears. And the equalizer it's still doing pretty good, so we're going to leave it alone. That equalizer is actually, uh, it, it's, still, it's still holding its own. It's getting a little bit thin. You could try going in, but I'm not going to. I'm going to leave it alone. And you know what? Sometimes you, you miss opportunities. There we go. I missed that opportunity. That's okay. All right, so now we're, we actually just came out. We were, we're in the bands for a bit and now we're out or in the uh, reversal zone but what we're looking for after the reversal zone is we're looking for a cross of the yep there we go okay so now we've crossed the smooth moving average we check our indicators indicators are showing we've got strength in the bulls we've got the oscillator going up so we're going to go ahead and enter the market just because this is leaving the reversal zone. I wouldn't do this if I didn't touch it. I would be actually looking for a continuation in this case because we can see that that trend has now shifted. It's actually gone ahead and moved to a downward trend. So 4.8. So we're going to round this up. We're looking for a thousand ticks. And, ooh, getting dangerously close there. But we came back around. Let's just see what happened with the, so on that moment, so let's go back for a second. On that moment that we crossed the smooth moving average, I would evaluate right there we crossed the smooth moving average i evaluate what do we have well we got strength in the in the bears for sure but we still have strength in the bulls so that indicates that we're we haven't we haven't left this yet we got close but we came back up here now we're back in profit there we go we took profit now there's our 1.5% after coming out of that reversal. And let's see what continues. 
Oh, our. It is entirely possible. That would have been really close. We would have played that one by ear. No, nope, we would have stopped it because we actually had an increase here. And so my trailing stop would have taken us out at 0.1 pip. So that would have been exactly 0.1%. Okay, next, look for the next opportunity. Okay, we dropped below. Yeah, we closed below right there. Uh, but I still see strength in the bears, uh, sorry, the bulls. Uh, and I also see that this oscillator is a rather old, so I'm just gonna leave it alone. We don't have a determined direction yet, so we're just gonna leave it alone. That might have been an opportunity, and we, yeah, it was, look at that. But I don't see, mm, yeah, you could have, you definitely could have, but uh, the success rate on that is kinda low. But now we're back into the reversal, er, uh, the reversal zone, and so now we look for that close beyond it's not going up there is it no you know what we've got a buy signal here yeah so we've got a buy signal let's go back for a second so when Lux Algo has got a buy right there, we check. We've got strength in the bulls. We've got an oscillator that switched. Our volatility is fine. Uh, so we're good to go. We're going to enter the market here. And we're going to see where this takes us. And the only reason I'm taking this, I would not normally take a buy, but I'm taking it because we are coming out of the consolidate or the uh, the reversal area, that reversal zone. And we're entering a little bit of consolidation. Oh, but there we go. There's our first one, take profit. So we write that one down. That's a nice one. Might have stopped out here with our trailing stop set to 1.6. Uh, or no, did I set my trailing stop? I didn't, I didn't set my ATR here. Uh, so that's a nine. So 0 0.9, I'm gonna double that up to 1800. And now we see whether or not we stopped out. Nope, we need to drop down to 3,900 if we're going to, oh yeah, there's my notification to close trades. I don't have any open right now, so I'm good because uh, it's the end of the trading week. So we, uh, we would not have stopped out yet. Possibly there, let's go see. Nope, because we, we would be uh, looking for 3.9 as a, as a stop based on that high that we got. Oh, that might have been it. Yep, so there we go. That's where we stopped out. Boom, right there. So based on that, we got um, 3.2 times that 1.5%. I would be using my calculator, but it's currently taking a video. 4.8%. <laughs> and that, ladies and gentlemen, is all I'm going to share with you today. The video is going a little bit longer than I expected, but you know, we had a little, bit of a, a little bit of time in there where it, uh, we had to do some math. But there we have it. There is a trading session. Um, we just finished off that there. There was the consolidation. We avoided that. And then we started trading. And that took us three hours and 10, three hours and 11 minutes. And we got one, two, three, so one. 
Let's do the math on the rewards here. That's one, two, that's 12.1% wins and a 2.7% loss for a total of 9.4% gains uh, in a three hour session there. So thank you so much for watching. Look, the reason, again, I'm doing this because I want to help you out as much as possible. Those, that's my trading strategy. That's how I do what I do. And, uh, you know, I just I went to a random day there. We had some, we had a loss, uh, but we mitigated it. We could, you could see there were opportunities that I didn't take, even though I had a signal. Like, here's a sell signal that told me to go into the market. I didn't take it. Um, and that's just because we were using other things to complement the tools. Uh, and we were able to avoid that. And in three hours, we increased our account by 9.4% um, doing this now. I didn't do this this week. This week, I was focusing on indices. So I didn't trade this, but I'm just showing you the strategy that I would use, that I use for indices on the one minute chart and applied to gold. Uh, this was on October 6th. Uh, in the evening Mountain Standard Time. That would have taken us to, yeah, 8 o'clock in the evening. So I hope that that helps. Um, obviously, I've got a trading room. Um, if you want more help, if you want to get some intensive guidance on this and up-to-date stuff, you get to watch me trade live. Uh, I don't talk much. You just get to watch me. Uh, but that is, uh, that's my strategy. I hope that that helps. If you want to learn more about Lux, there is going to be a link on the page that you can visit wherever the link might be. And uh, I look forward to meeting all of you and hearing about how this kind of trade strategy helps you out. So thanks so much.